Hey friends and foes, welcome to Brushwork Podcast. My name is Stephanie Scott, and today we're talking about affirmations for artists. I've been reading The Artist's Way for Art Book Club, and part of the program is to create affirmations for yourself. Sometimes coming up with affirmations can be tricky. So for today's episode, I've compiled this list of affirmations for you, my fellow artist. These are for your creative spirit, to help you think more positively about your art, And if you hear one that you love, I really encourage you to pause the episode and write it down. That way, you can read it back to yourself when you're feeling low and you need a little little pep talk, a little oomph for your day. I'm going to read these slowly and with care. It is my hope that you will come back to this episode over and over again to hear about how great your creativity is and to help you fight the artist's block. Because imposter syndrome, we don't talk to her. An affirmation usually starts with, I am, and then has a statement following. Sometimes the format will be a little bit different. Some of these may work for you and others might not. Let them slide and take what you need. A little disclaimer here, some of these are from the artist's way. Most of them are written by me and a few are from other creative people here on the internet. Affirmations are meant to be shared. So steal like an artist and use them as much as you like. I really encourage you to say these affirmations out loud after I say them. Even if you don't believe in them, and especially if you don't believe in them, saying them can lead you into the direction of their statement. For example, if you don't believe yourself to be an artist, if you say the affirmation, I am an artist, your artwork, your self-worth, and your willingness to create will absolutely flourish. Even if you aren't convinced it will happen, that you will become an artist, Saying these affirmations will guide you towards your wish to become one. I'm a really big believer in declarations. I believe that when you say you want something and you tell lots of people about it, your actions change. When your actions change, the things around you change. And when that happens, everything else conspires to help you achieve your goal. It's cosmic, and it starts with that initial affirmation. So, are you ready? I am an artist. I am a creative powerhouse. I have plenty of time to create my artwork. My studio space is perfect for my artistic needs. My creativity heals myself and others. It is my responsibility to listen to my inner artist. I am allowed to nurture my artist. I am allowed to take breaks away from my artwork. Rest makes my art better. I am exactly where I am meant to be in my artistic journey. Every painting has its own purpose and journey. The paintings I don't like are just as important as my masterpieces. There's a lesson in everything I create. It is a joy to learn a new material. My creativity always leads me to truth and love. My creativity leads me to forgiveness and self-forgiveness. I am eager to get to the studio. I am willing to create. I have the right to be an artist. My art journey is beautiful for being different than other artists. I am respected for becoming an artist. My collectors love my work. Making art excites me. I am happy to share my work with others. Through the use of a few simple tools, my creativity will flourish. I am willing to learn to let myself create. I am eager to improve my creative weaknesses. 
I am willing to be of service through my creativity. I am willing to experience my creative energy. I will use my creative talents. With my art, I am inspiring others and impacting lives. I have an abundance of creative energy. My creative self brings joy to those around me. My friends respect my dedication to my craft. My loved ones encourage me to create. I am protective of my time to create. My artwork is important to me. My artwork is important to the world. Through hard work and determination, I am progressing my artistic skills every single day. I have endless creative energy. New people are noticing my artwork each and every day. My art is worth making. My art is meaningful. I can see the worth in my art. I am an artist. When I struggle, that is simply a lesson I have yet to learn. When I am challenged, I thrive. My frustrations compel me to seek help. My art is beautiful in its imperfections. Other artists want me to succeed. I express my unique creativity in everything I do. I have a well of creativity that I can access at any moment. Being in my studio opens up my creative energy. I can easily come up with new ideas. Being an artist is a journey, not a destination. I am always developing as an artist. It is important for me to pursue my artwork. Every day, I learn more about my art. I am a formidable artist. I am happy when I am creating. Focus comes easily to me. I don't chase, I attract. My artistic dreams are blooming. I know how to achieve my artistic goals. My art is a skill. A creative rut will not stop me from creating meaningful art. I am unafraid of failure. Failure is an arrow towards improvement. I am continuously improving every day. I deserve to create art. I deserve success. Selling my artwork delights me. My art practice supports my life. I make a living with my artwork. My art can support my family. My collectors 
are hungry for more artwork. People want to hear about my work. My audience looks forward to hearing from me. By working on my craft every day, I set myself up for success. I am able to express myself easily through art. My collectors understand my artwork. My collectors are easy to find. My collectors want my artwork in their homes. I price my artwork correctly. My work inspires people to look at life from a new perspective. My art is a priority. I appreciate the opportunity to share my talent with the world. My imagination is powerful and nothing can stop me from expressing it. My audience reacts positively to my art and engages with it consistently. I can easily speak about my artwork. I respect my artistic vision. I am loved for the artwork that I make. I have a healthy relationship with my art. I use my materials to their fullest potential. The only wasted paint is the one left in the tube. Every day is a fresh start to making something wonderful. A blank canvas is an invitation for fun. Taking a risk with my art leads to great rewards. I am curious and always find new ways to grow as an artist. I seek progress over perfection and community over competition. My brushes are clean. My supplies are ready for me to pick them up. Using the materials for art making is a delight. I love making a mess. My art studio is comfortable and welcoming. My art studio is perfect for my needs. Creativity blooms in my space. My art studio is well organized and stocked. I have plenty of time to make art. I have a schedule that supports creativity. I am protective of my art making time. The people I live with respect my creative space and time. When I enter the studio space, I leave the outside world at the door. It is simple to return to creativity if I am distracted or interrupted. I easily find spaces to show my art. People love seeing my artwork in public. Other artists want to collaborate with me. I am respected by my artistic colleagues. Critique empowers me to improve my artwork. I am grateful when other people put energy into looking at my art. I am happy to be an artist. I am happy when other people become artists because of me. My art making style is distinctive and abundant. 
I can easily afford to buy plenty high quality art supplies. My free time is filled with positive and inspirational moments. My life supports my inner artist. Saying affirmations supports my artistic goals. Do you feel like you have some creativity yet? (laughs) Is your creative energy starting to perk up after hearing all of those I am's? Thank you for listening to these affirmations. I, I hope they've inspired you. I hope they've brought you some sort of joy back into your to your art making. And if you need to listen to this again, you should just press replay and listen to those affirmations once more. Affirmations have been a tool I've been using since I was a kid. Saying, I am sp- strong, I am smart, I am good at this or that. And there's, there's a little trick to using them. There's a little trick into learning how to wield an affirmation. So when you're, when you're saying these affirmations to yourself, here's a couple, a couple things you should try out. First, I, I like to make sure I'm sitting up in my chair. Or if I'm standing, kind of like shake out all the stiffness. If I have a mirror, I like to look at myself in the eye while saying these. And this is not for the faint of heart. It's surprisingly challenging to look at yourself and say something that you may or not believe about yourself. Like, I deserve to be an artist. That one was tough for me for a while. Saying it with a smile on your face also makes a change. I want you to listen to the difference of this. I am happy to be an artist. Versus, I am happy to be an artist. You know, when you say it with some personality, when you say it with some some gumption, it's going to be more believable to your brain. And you'll pick up the, the power of that message a lot faster. Do you have affirmations you tell yourself before you come to the studio or maybe about a different part of your life that's not art making related? I would love to hear your affirmations. If you get a chance, comment, send me a message. I, I'd love to hear it. And if you're watching this, give me a thumbs up. If you're listening to this, I would love a a five-star rating. It helps me in the podcast because my affirmation is my listeners love the podcast. Thanks for listening, friends and foes. Make good choices. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, you are an artist and you're awesome. And I appreciate you.